Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. All right. We need wood. Oh, I need bust-ups, so I'm going to go ahead and just have her start busting up. I had her make an axe, and then here's what's here's what's going to happen. You'll see icons pop up on all the furniture, and there's only some furniture that I want to break down, and that is any piece of furniture that I'm not actually using. Makes uh, sense. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the chair for now. I'm going to keep all the beds. It kind of sucks that you can bust those things up, because if you accidentally... Oh. Oh. Anyone there? Oh, I need geez. help. It's probably the neighbor, and if it's the neighbor, that means can they're going to want... Can you give them anybody? I can give them Bruno. We need Katya. Yeah, we need her. What She's, does giving them Bruno mean? They're gonna borrow him for the night to go. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna loan them him, and it's gonna prevent them from being. See how they're sad right now? Mm -hmm. If I help him, they won't be sad anymore because they both like to help people. You're the first person to open the okay. door. Thank you so much. Quickly, my brother was shot by his neighbor. Please help me carry him home, or I'll die. There's no time to lose. Oh. So you give him them. He leaves for the day. I can't use him to do anything. But when he comes back, sometimes they reward you. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is there any other kind of benefit? So other than take a look. Happy? Uh, this is her story. Uh, day four, it gives you a little update. Day two, Pavel did not return. Uh, day four, huh. helping our neighbor was the right thing to do. I'm glad we did it. And if you look at her character entry, she's still sad, but she won't be tomorrow. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. If you happen to see that under her name, it said coffee drinker. If you have coffee, that will also keep them from getting depressed because it's a thing that they enjoy. That makes sense. Yep. Nick mentioned at one point that he was disappointed that she wasn't a smoker. Yeah. So I kind of assumed mm -hmm. that you can collect those kinds of items for yep. those reasons. Uh, actually, when I talked about making an herb economy, what I mean by that is I mean making a lot of cigarettes at the herbal workshop in the herbal garden and then using those to buy things from traders. Ah. It's possible to... Uh, we, we actually had a fairly successful like 60-day long playthrough with two rotating herb gardens, like four different distilleries making water. Like We had a real operation going. <laughs> Nice. We, we really set did. up like the Philip Morris of Syria. <laughs> we got to the point where we were just like, I don't even, like, what are we even going to do with all this stuff? We have nowhere to give it to. I don't know. We didn't have any smokers in the party either, so it was really yeah. easy to accumulate <laughs> cigarettes because really nice. they're not smoking them. I assume There's there this... are other things you can do with herbs than, than smoke. Yes. Them. You can make uh, them into medicine. You can make them into pills, bandages. bandages. Uh, you can make them into uh, four different kinds of cigarettes. You can just wow. sell the herbs. Uh, yeah, four different kinds, meaning uh, varying levels of quality. Oh, uh, okay. If you have homegrown tobacco, which you can oh, make out of herbs. Tired. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'll probably I mean, just have her sleep tonight. I won't. Really? Have her, I won't have her go out. We don't need to. We don't need to go out. We we used our, all of our bust ups to make to get like a shitload of stuff. I'll probably have her start making all of the uh, all the board ups. Oh, that's probably true. Um, let's take a look. Sense. Let's see what we have. So in between episodes, you started to talk about late game strategy. Yeah, there are two basic late game strategies that you can adopt. That cigarette economy that I talked about, that's one way to do it, where you accumulate a lot of cigarettes and then go to a place that will let you trade. Because the traders will often have uh, recovering resources, and you can just trade your cigarettes to them because they're a high value trade item. Uh, the other way okay. that you can go is you can go booze. Um, you can collect sugar, you can get a lot of water, you can make a booze economy, which you can also use to make bandages, and then you can just sell that, which is an even more high value trade item. Um, but presumably like, more difficult to do. Oh, vastly more difficult. Um, more time consuming, more difficult, more, just more everything. Um, so I'm just making all the board ups right here. They automatically go into position. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, and the so three just... positions are up here, right here, which I'll, I'll do first. So there, there, and there. Yep. Um, there are and only are the three. Only three on this building. Uh, yeah, there, there are two, uh, um, there's three on the first one. No, no, there, there's two different maps that you can play on, oh, yes. and each one has three spots, but they're in three different locations. Mm -hmm. uh, this map has the treehouse, which is we thought might be oh, useful, but it isn't. I didn't realize your starting location changed. Uh, it does, actually, yeah. Uh, huh. There's there's like an apartment building, and then there's like a busted down suburban home. This is the apartment building. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So do the locations of, of where you're barricading, does it actually matter, no. or do you just want to make sure that... I just want to get all three done. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. It take about a half hour, so it's going to be real close. I if she can get down here in ten minutes, then I can get it. But otherwise... because she's hungry, sad, and tired, I don't think she'll make it. Yeah, you're probably right. She's probably just going to get this one done. I, I wonder if there are any statistics behind the hood of this game, where like, say that top location. Yeah. It, maybe if you don't board that one up, it's less likely to get broken through just because of the height. I, you know, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I, I couldn't tell you, but this is where we are going to be missing a board up. Shit, I can't have her go to bed then. I didn't get all the board ups done. So the axe does count as a weapon, which is kind of nice. I can't scavenge because if I leave, they'll just steal stuff for free. All I can do is guard, and I just have to stay here. So what happens if your character never sleeps? They die. 
Oh. Yeah, eventually they get too tired and then they die. Um, oh, nice. All right. So right now she is very tired. So is he. I'm going to have her do this. And I will have him... Do, see how she's just doing this? Oh, yeah. That's her maximum speed right now, because she's hungry and very tired. So she is just, she's going to bed. They so, both are. So can they only really function, like, two nights without sleep before? Yeah. Okay. They can get tired, and then they go very tired. They can get hungry. <laughs> and then dead. And they spend two days at hungry, then they go to very hungry, and then they spend two days at very hungry, then they go to starving. They spend one day at starving, two days at starving, and then at 50-50s. Every day mm. there's a 50-50 shot, they die. And We've never gotten that far because we always I feed have, them at very high. I've had people starve to death. <sighs> I, I ran out of food a lot in my early playthroughs. That's fair. It's really easy to do. That's not too surprising, no. though. Um, so when they sleep, they sleep in six-hour cycles. Mm -hmm. So we have six hours where I'm just not going to be doing anything, so I will watch the front door. Do you want to tell that story? <laughs> so, all right. This game has really good design. It's it's really well done to make you get into this mindset where I've got I've got to get all these things done, and if I don't do them, I'm gonna die, and all these people are gonna starve. So it's very nerve wracking. The other thing is it's really atmospheric. Well like we anxiety. can't hear it right now, but the game does have really excellent sound design. Um, there are moments where there will just be loud noises that sound kind of like the door. And so there was this moment where I was fucking around in the basement, like doing something, and there was this loud noise, and I immediately just did like one of these. Just like immediately. And then I went back to it without breaking my stride of what I was talking about. And I, I think you were actually playing at yes. the moment. And I stopped. And I, and I was like, and I zoomed out and I looked over you, the door. Did you just do that? Did you just freak out and look over the door? Has this game given us PTSD? <laughs> <laughs> we so, were so just, then my question is, yes. can something happen during the middle of the day where, I mean, aside, I guess that yes. we just had our neighbors yes. show up. So neighbor showed up. Trader can show up. We've had the um, military show up before, and that oh. was that was probably the worst because yeah, I was just sitting there on the other side of the door looking at the screen and like I see the soldiers I'm like do I open the door I no I don't want to open the, I don't want to open the door but what if they break down the door and then they kill me because I didn't open the door but if I open the door and then I gotta tell them something it was <laughs> the thing is though if you if you open the door and you talk to them then they question you about like a thing that you did like that I you stole, totally did I, I totally you did. totally did that I stole some stuff I murdered three soldiers I had like three <laughs> stolen assault rifles we are rifles. taking away time I know that's good I want it to take away oh, because right. I, I have people sleeping, sleeping for Sorry, fuck's see? sake there's so, a pause yeah, there, well, yeah. There, apparently there is I didn't know that um oh. <laughs> so uh she's always pausing games uh just let I him go no just way. let him go um so uh the military guys were like oh yeah hey did you learn anything about do you, you hear anything about this and i was like nope i don't know anything about that nope is there a chance that they don't believe you? Uh, I don't think there's a chance they don't believe you. I think it's entirely based on your own people's reactions and at the time uh, i happen to have a party full of people who were like yeah Fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out really well, yeah. But we, it was... It was nerve-wracking as hell. It's just not, like, did there, not like that There are two or three all. characters in this who actually can survive a stand-up fight. Um, hmm. There's uh, two characters who have instant one-hit kills if they're hiding, uh, which it's possible to do. I haven't had to do it yet, but I'll show you. Uh, you can hide and then pop out from cover right, and one hit. they're both just tired now, sorry. Are they? Yeah, he's only tired. Okay. All right, well, then I'll have him finish that board up. Yes, please. That's really all I have to do today. Um, I just guarded the last night to get them back in. Do we so want I'll... to see what we have? See what we have what? In terms of supplies here, so we can determine what we want to do next. Sure, let's take a look. Uh, it is kind of nice now that you have everything pretty much set up that you don't have to be yeah. in a panic. Yep. Um, interesting thing to note is uh, this right here. See the, the health bar? Oh, most, so it's degrading. Most tools have that if they're not one-time use. Um, what's interesting about about them is that if you're careful, you can trade them away when they've got like one hit point left for breaking. And they're breaking. still worth the same? Still worth full value. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It is, it's It's sort of crucial to um, save those tools that are about to be not useful anymore. Um, I've done all the board ups. I've done the stove. I could get, I guess I could use the distillery. I could use the gun. So I'm going to go back to the abandoned house and I'm just going to pick up a bunch of stuff tonight. Um, I agree. The, until you've got your first location totally cleared out, there's not a whole lot of choice in the game. There's not a whole lot of good choices to be made, rather. You could spread out your influence and go to a bunch of uh, different locations, but that, no that's... Way. No, it's pointless. you gotta, you got to flesh out your your, uh, your locations one at a time. You do get to a point where it is not worth it to go back to one of the locations that you've already been going to a couple times, mm -hmm. and then at that point, there's really not that much left anyway. It's got a lot of nice late game stuff. Yeah. Like when you Shell are... casings. Shell casings and gunpowder. When you have the advanced metal work, like the metal workshop upgraded all the way, then those are totally, totally useful. But until hmm. then... You can't make bullets, so there's no point. No, and then people are just going to steal them, and so it's unfortunate. I'm going to listen... Uh, to the see weather? If there's... Yeah. 
Cool outside, possible rainfall. Oh, oh curl up with a book by your oh, fireplace. Oh yeah, we don't have oh. we don't have one of those things. Oh, there are snipers. Oh shit. Okay. All right, so don't go to Sniper Junction. Uh, if it tells you about like people getting shot and killed by snipers, don't go to Sniper Junction. I mean, we even can't kind of get that from the neighbor that you helped the previous day too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's there's a lot of just people who just get shot. There are locations. <laughs> there are actually locations where uh, you'll see on the wall written outside, it'll say sniper, and if you stand in that spot too long, you'll get, get shot. shot. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. The first one will usually miss, and your character will like do like this ducking animation, and they won't take any damage, but there's no like clear health bar, really. There is kind of, but it takes practice to spot. So Interesting. So if, if you're not careful, you will just get shot and killed. It's happened to us. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the day. I know it's only half an hour away, but I don't have anything left to do. Mm-hmm. So we're going back to the abandoned cottage. Right. I will have you stay up and guard. You are going to scavenge. They'll just sleep at the beginning of the day again. I don't need anything because I brought back all the tools. Although I didn't bring back the crowbar. Uh, that's one of the things that I did. I brought the crowbar here to use. Sniper written on that wall, which is why I always run past it. Never stay too long. <gasps> just close the door. <laughs> you absolutely got shot at. Did I? Yes. Yeah, I, I heard you a good shot yes. too. Jesus. So is there ever a situation in which you can recruit more people to your home? Yes. yes. They will show Nice. Them. So losing a guy isn't necessarily no. the end of the world. It's really inconvenient, no. but nothing bad has happened to us, so I feel like we're okay. Yeah, I was going to say, we were really That's panicked all... about it in the beginning, mm-hmm. but we've been doing pretty good despite that. I don't need any wood right we now. We only because... have seven wood. Do we really? Yes. I checked. Do I want to bring back this stuff? This is good for traders. Yes, we have... We only have ten components. Um, that might be a good idea. I only have... That's all the components I can bring back. Should you bring back the, bring back the co- crowbar? Uh, it's not particularly useful to me right now. I don't need any of this stuff. I guess I could use cigarettes for Bruno, but I don't care. Like, I really, really don't care. Um, gonna bring back any of the medicine, or are you afraid that it's just gonna get stolen? I'm afraid it's gonna get stolen, and we don't need it to trade with right now. Coffee, I don't care about. She's fine. I will bring back electrical parts because they they have a low rate of getting stolen. Um, I will bring back mechanical parts just in case. I agree. Do you want to bring the stack of four? I'll yeah. bring the whole stack. Yeah. Call it a day. I have the gun. I have the weapon part. Should be enough. Cool. Is that enough weapon parts? We have three back at the house. Okay, and that's enough. I hope. I hope it's not five. If it is five, then I'll just go somewhere that has them. Yeah, you get See? shot at again. Did I actually get hit that time? No. I thought I saw her get hit. It, no. it sounded like it hit something, but it I should have presumably gone the was just the uh, the ground. Yeah, that's that's what that means. I, I could have gotten hit. You won't die in one hit most of the time unless you've got like a really fragile character. That's kind of nice. She like is Anton. not limping. Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Did you get raided again? Yes. Yep. They didn't take anything, uh, though. Hey, good, because we got the board ups. Because yes. we got the board ups. Yes. Oh. And we had a weapon. And we had the hatchet. We had, we had the hatchet, which yes. counts as a weapon. It's excellent, not a good excellent. weapon, but it does count. It's All right, thing. you are very hungry, sad, and tired, so no, you did just get shot at. Nice. Go ahead. You have... Is there any animals left in the city? I'm so hungry I'd eat a rat or even a pigeon. <laughs> um, Relax. Over yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, <laughs> bud. You're not starving to death. Yet? Just, just regular starving. All right, hungry, sad, and tired. Go to Good bed. bed. Cool. Hungry, well, uh, sad, what day are we on? Six. So day we're gonna six. do more of day six in the uh, next episode. More of day six in the next episode. See you guys in the archives. Thanks for watching. Is that ginger ale beer? It's the world's flattest ginger ale. It's basically syrup. <laughs>